Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am back today um, to start um, all things holiday and Christmas. And I'm going to be doing only, only pretty much all things holiday and all things Christmas up till at least the week before Christmas. Um, I probably will end this about the 20, I don't know, 22nd or 23rd. Um, anyway, because of Christmas holiday and you want to spend time with your family, but pretty much all the videos I'm going to be doing is pretty much all Christmas. Um, I might throw in a little bit of Thanksgiving, closer to Thanksgiving time, um, maybe decorations or something like that. Um, but pretty much everything is going to deal with the holidays. So anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this super cute little snowman ornament. And y'all, okay, so it's made out of a rosette, of course, and I have used some of my white glitter dust to put on to make it kind of shiny. It made it real stiff, like when it dried and all that. And of course, I just used cardstock and a sequin and some twine. But uh, yeah, I think he turned out pretty cute. Um, so yeah, I started doing this last night and when I was doing it, I'm using my hot glue gun. Now I got this hot glue gun. Let me make sure it's not dripping. I got it at um, Tuesday morning. It works great. But let me tell you, be careful. Don't burn yourself. Because I had a piece of paper laying on my thumb last night. And oh my goodness, it's called a war wound. I came around and said, ah, I think I burned myself with my glue gun. And my husband's like, oh my goodness, what happened? And... So anyway, pretty much it burned for quite a while because it burned it hard. So be careful with this glue gun if you have it because if you have some drop on your thumbs or whatever, yeah, it did not feel good. So, but you know what I say, the show must go on. And so let's just get going. Okay, so what we're gonna do, of course, is make this cute little ornament. And let me just put him to the side. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to score our paper and then we'll do the cutting. That way you've only got to score it once. Okay, let me grab a piece of white paper. Now, you can skip the whole um, glitter part if you're using white glitter paper. I didn't have any, so, you know, that's all good. Okay, so what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to score my paper, then I'll cut it. And I'm going to score it at every half an inch, and this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So I'm scoring it. And most everybody knows how to make a rosette. If you do, great. If you don't, this is what you do. And let's see. I'm going to get these uh, every half, every half inch. And if you go off the line, just keep going like I did. Yeah, be careful with glue guns. They, they do not feel good. Now my little tiny glue gun that I had before, just the little, little tiny one. I've burned myself with those and nothing felt like this one. So please be careful. Heed the warning. Okay, so I've got my score lines. And now I'm going to take my paper cutter. Oh, what did I do with it? Here it is. Take my paper cutter and I'm going to, to make this size of snowman that I did, I did two inches. So I'm gonna do two inches and just cut it. See, if you scored before, you've only gotta cut, you've only gotta score them once instead of twice. I'm gonna need, two pieces of the scored paper, and here we go. Let's just start doing the folding. So let's just make our rosette. And um, yeah. so I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. This day like savings time, man. 
my husband and I, we woke up and our clock said 6.30, but really it was 5.30. Yeah. So anyway, but if you get up and you get your day started, it seems like you got a nice longer day. And it's going to be a nice day for some yummy chicken pot pie. I think I'll make chicken pot pie for dinner. It's a nice fall dish. Okay, got my uh, got my paper folded. Now to make my rosette, I'm going to put some glue on one end. Then I'm going to overlap, and you see this one? This one right here, it goes up and down like a mountain in a valley, and this was a valley then a mountain. So we're gonna put them together. I thought I had some white glittery paper, but I couldn't find it. I, I changed my paper on my table. I'm not sure if I'll keep this green because it kind of gives a glare with my light. But I'm giving it a try. I do think it's beautiful Christmas paper. I just and there was people that asked me where dare I get my paper. Usually I get it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby on the roll. But y'all, this green is just off of it's just Christmas paper that I covered. And I've got tons of Christmas paper from my Christmas Christmas paper gift packs that I'm gonna be putting in my craft fair. So I just grabbed one of these. Okay. So now I have my rosette ready to form. Let me grab my punch, because you want to make sure you have your, your circles all ready to go. I definitely do not want to be burning my thumb again. Okay, so I'm just going to punch out two circles. So that way, then they're ready to go when I put the glue. And now I'm just going to push this down to form my rosette. Okay. I'm a little apprehensive on this, so here I go. Pray for me. Okay. Okay, I want to make sure I got the glue in the center. Press this together. So that way then it'll harden. And when you think it's starting to harden, add some glue all around and put your circle. And if you see I've got it more pushed on one side, it's okay. Once you put this, you can push it together. This glue gun gets so hot. I love the glue gun because the glue doesn't drip out really bad whenever it's just sitting but it's very hot and I, I think I might have to try it on the low temp. I don't know. Y'all give me comments below if you have this food gun, if this has happened to you. Okay, so I've got my circle. I'm gonna push this over here. So I'm gonna try to keep it pushed down since this glue is super hot. Made it through, yay. Okay, try to center up your, your circle. I'm gonna use my glue to hold it down. Okay, good thing I can put that one on the back. I have paint on that. Okay, that will be the back. It's still very hot, okay. So if you didn't get your circles all straight, once the glue hardened, you can add another one over it. Maybe one a little bit larger if you want to cover that up just to make sure you have it centered. And that is what I will do. With this glue. It's some good glue. And I've had someone ask me what kind of glue sticks I use. I just used the multi-temp glue sticks, and I got mine, oh, I think I got mine at Hobby Lobby. Okay, so now I'm getting this hardened. Not too bad. Okay, I want to make it look a little nicer on my white piece of paper, so I'm going to put another one over it now that I... And you can use a 
use a glue. You can use your glue or you can just put some. I just want to make sure it's not wrinkly looking. So I'm just going to use my art glitter glue. I've had people ask, you know, where do you get your art glitter glue? Oh, Lordy, I wish that they sold this in the stores. But as far as I know, they don't. I think that you can pretty much get it on Amazon. Or um, I know um, the channel May May made it. I think she has a store, and I, I've heard that people have bought it there as well. Okay, so now I have got my rosette ready. And remember, those were two inch strips by 11. That's how I got the size, okay? And so the next thing that we're gonna do, and let me push this, let me push my glue gun a little bit out of the way. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take our glitter. And I wanna make sure this is good and glued down before I go any further. You can glitter just along the edges if you like. Just kind of roll your rosette in some glue, kind of like this. And you can do the outside, or you can use like a little paintbrush and brush glue on. And that's how I kind of got this effect where the glue, the glitter went more up. I kind of, I think it made it look a little bit more realistic. Um, you, it's preference, whatever you choose to do. But for me, I am going to just kind of brush my glue on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this part going. That way then I can make the hat. That way this glue is starting to dry. Okay, I'm just using some of my art glitter glue. You use Mod Podge, whatever you prefer to do. Take your rosette, take a paintbrush, and pretty much just dab your glue up and down in the ridges of your rosette. Try not to let your glue be kind of clumpy in there. You don't want your glitter or your whatever, whatever thing you're using. Um, you don't want it to clump up. So just kind of put your glue all up inside and spread, spread it out really well. Our glitter glue dries pretty fast. And like I said, it did make my rosette when I used it on the other one. It did make it... Um, my 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 thing is very stiff. Okay. okay, I think that I've got all the outside. So, you know, and this is what I'm using. I got this at Michaels a long time ago. It's called Diamond Dust. You can use plain white glitter if you want, uh, whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna use this one because this is what I had on hand. And I'm going to put this over my thing, and I'm just going to, you can roll this, but I'm just going to sprinkle mine on. Because I'm not just putting mine along the edges. I'm not a huge glitter fan, y'all. Because um, it's such a mess when my granddaughter comes over, she always wants a glitter, and I'm like, uh-uh. It's so messy, it is so messy, but it does look pretty. So I thought, hmm, for this particular one, I'll give it a try. Okay, shake off your excess. If you feel like you need any more, just add more. I think that's pretty good. I kind of like that it's not too much. Okay, now for the little center, I'm gonna add a little glue on that too, and I'm gonna put some on my center. I'm just gonna put mine all over. Like I said, if you have some uh, some paper that's gl white glitter paper, you can even ha you don't even have to do this part. You can just go ahead and you can just make your rosette and move on. But I didn't have that, so here we go. How sweet is that, y'all? Okay, let me see how much I can shake off here. Okay. Pretty good. There you go, look how pretty it looks, y'all. Looks so pretty. Okay, that's all I need to do for that. So I'm just gonna set this aside so I can make the hat. 
And you know, also too, I didn't mention, if you want to go ahead and punch a hole at the top of your rosette, so that way you have a hole ready for you to put your twine through to have, so you can be a, have it hanging, then you could have did that already. But while ago, I had already, well, I had already made my rosette and glittered it, and I just put the hole earlier, and it worked out just fine with my hole punch. So um, it's whatever you decide to do. Okay. So while I'm letting my rosette dry, Y'all, look, it looks so pretty. It's very nice, I like it. Okay, so while I let it dry, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the hat. So I've cut two strips of paper. This one is a two inch by three, and this is one inch by five. So what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do is I made it where where the, the smaller piece is on the, that will go behind, that way it kind of sticks behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's get this glued down. You can use double-sided tape if you like. I'm just gonna use my glue since it's what I have right here on my table. But any of it will work. Y'all, our glitter glue works for anything. Okay. So get it lined up kind of in the center of your paper. That way then you make it look like a hat shape. You can make this part taller if you want, whatever you prefer. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a piece of a piece of my red and white peppermint looking paper and I'm gonna cut myself about a half inch by three strip. Now this one I did white, but I think this one I'll make it different. So I'm just going to line it up right, a right along where the edge of the paper is that I'd put behind. And then I'm just going to put it like this. You can overlap it down if you want, but I'm just going to put mine here. You didn't have to put it all the way down flush to the bottom like I did. It's preference, so whatever you prefer. So I'm just going to do mine this way. Put myself some glue, maybe a little bit more. Okay, so remember my strips are two inch by three, and then for the hat, and then one inch or one inch by five. Okay, so there, that's what I'm going to use. You can cut this down if you don't want your hat that big. I'm gonna leave it, I think it's pretty cute. Okay, so I need a little decoration for the top of my hat, and for this one, I just cut out a little holly leaf and put a sequin. Let me dig into these buttons. I got these buttons at Michael's, and I know they've got some little shapes, and so if they're flat, I can use them. So let me dig into this. Let me find my scissors, y'all. There we go. I've had these few weeks, but that's the first I cut into them. I can't get it open, so I'll cut it open. Where there is a will, there is a way. We crafters want to get into our things. Let me see what we got in here. See if I got something cute. Now, this is a really cute collection of buttons. I don't want to use it if it's got this thing on the back. So let's see, oh, okay, well, here's this one. I think I could use this one. That'd be cute, a little snowflake. Some of them are have the little thing on the back, you see? And you can't use that because it's gonna stick out. There's a little reindeer that's flat. Okay, so I think my only option is by putting this little snowflake. I'm just gonna use my art glitter glue and adhere it on. Okay. I'm just gonna put it just like that. Let's let it dry. Our glitter glue dries super fast, y'all. And if you have art glitter glue, you know that. So that's why I think we love it so much. It's so sturdy and we just love it. Okay, I'm get these buttons back in here so I have room to work. Okay, 
You can decorate these any way you want. They don't have to be a traditional snowman. You can do any way you want. By the way, I wish that it was real snow. I am a snow lover. So yes, I love my snow. Okay, so let's move back over here. I think that I can work with my, my glittered rosette. And let me get my little pin back in my thing. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my put my hat on. But let me go ahead and punch that hole really fast. Let me find my hole puncher. I was changing my paper wall ago and I moved everything around. And y'all, it's hard to find things when you try to clean up a little bit. Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, so I got my hole puncher. I'm just using a regular hole puncher. This thing is a little bit thicker in there, so I think I'll be able to go ahead and punch my hole. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get my hole. Try to push this down as far as you can go. Oop, and I bent that. Let's move around. I don't want the bent part. Because it's still a little damp. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I got my hole. That way that's ready. I don't have to worry about that. And you can go ahead and add your twine if you want so you have a hanger. And then you can just put the hat and put the face. So I'm just going to use some red and white twine. Y'all, look. There was no wasting on this roll. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and put my twine so I have my hanger all ready to roll. I hope that you're not going to get tired of all things holiday and Christmas because I've got a whole bunch of ideas that I, I had to write everything down because, you know, sometimes if you don't, you might forget. So, okay, so I've got my got my twine on there for my hanger. And you can, like this one, I kind of made his hat sideways. This one, I think I'll do it a little bit sideways. Okay, and so... Because I did this, it's glittered, I'm going to have to use my hot glue to put my hat on so carefully. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> carefully use your hot glue so you can adhere your hat on. Okay, I'm going to put mine, just going to put mine right here. This one, this hat's kind of going on a little bit more straight. It's preference, whatever you want to do, y'all. Wherever you want to do it. Okay, it's looking good already. I like it. Let me shake that off. I'm doing good on that. I always use this little lid to hot glue things on and make rosettes, and it was off of a bucket I had. And it works well. I know it's not the cutest, but it does work well. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do, and let me move this out of my way, is I'm going to grab my grab a piece of orange because I need to make a, a carrot nose and I don't have a template for a carrot nose I just kind of made it up so as you kind of see how I just kind of cut a shape that kind of looks like a carrot that's what I'm going to do now so I'm just going to kind of cut it if you have a template for it or if you can cut these out on your you know, like on a cutting machine or something, which I probably could, but I didn't want to take the time. Okay, so there you go. I think that will work. You can draw some little lines with the carrot if you want, but I'm not going to worry about that. Now I'm going to adhere my um, my carrot nose on, y'all. This is what I burned myself on last night when I was doing the carrot nose, trying to make a template. So I'm using these <laughs> because you need some of glue you want to make sure it stays on there so i'm using these because no more of that burn from that hot glue perfect kind of position your carrot the way you want perfect now take some black and i'm just going to cut myself you want i used my hole puncher to make the dots for the smile um, but for the eyes, I'm just going to cut myself some circles because they don't need to be perfect because 
the Frosty the Snowman song says two eyes made out of coal, and it doesn't say that they are perfect. <laughs> and um, nor do I think they are, so I'm just going to cut myself some quick circles. I'm going to go ahead and put some heart glitter glue for my eyes. Get that on. You can make them smaller than I did if you want. It's your preference. You could use the hole puncher and cut all the little dots. Okay. Our snowman can see he has eyes. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my hole puncher and punch myself a couple of black dots. Got a white one in there, y'all. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and put myself some glue so I can start him a smile. Since the carrot kind of goes off to the side, you're not going to be able to fill in the whole way unless you made a smaller carrot. Let's see if I can use my tweezers here to set this on. Maybe I can. Let's see if I can put the others without the tweezers. Because, you know, they're so tiny. There. There we go. I love Christmas holiday, y'all. I'm sure you do too. Look at that, it got caught on my hand because I got glue. I just love it. Hey, leave me a comment below. What are your Christmas traditions? Do you, I mean, do you decorate a tree as a family? Do you put up a tree? Um, do you go on vacations for Christmas? Do you, what do you do? You know, for me, look at that, I gotta get this on, y'all. For me, um, after craft fair time, usually around Thanksgiving, and I'm having an issue here. Let me get this on. Usually after craft fair, um, that's when I'll start decorating. I don't really go overboard decorating. <laughs> His eyes kind of look evil a little bit. That's funny. Okay. But anyway, yeah, after Christmas, I'll start decorating my house and, you know, put a few decorations out. And my husband will give me the look when I tell him it's time to clean out the, get the Christmas tree out of the attic. Because that's always a real pain and to do and all that. But I really want to get a new tree this year. I wanted to get one that looks flocked. And, um, yeah, I want to make sure it's a tall tree because we have very tall t ceilings. So I want to make sure that it's tall enough in there in our house. So anyway, I'm going to quit rambling on y'all. Um, yeah, what do y'all think about my rosette snowman ornament? I think he's super cute. This would be a great idea to do with children if you want. Or if you wanted to give these out like at a like an assisted living or to elderly people. That'd be something real cute. You could make these and hang them on give Christmas packages. That would be very cute too. Um, but yeah, whatever you want to do with them. Um, they're super cute and super fun. Just don't burn yourself with a glue gun. And you'll be doing great. Um, but anyway, y'all, I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you're going to enjoy my Christmas and holiday series that I'm going to be doing all things Christmas and holiday. Hope you enjoy this. And um, yeah, I hope to see you back real soon for my next video. And uh, y'all, yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed and you're new to watching my channel, there's a lot more fun to be had. And please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And y'all hit that notification bell. It lets you know when I upload. So anyway, um, yeah, I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye. See ya.